Hey everybody, it's your pal Mike Zombie, and this week we're going to talk about Redneck Zombies from 1986. This is going to be real easy, because I fucking hate this film. <laughs> I'm just going to level with you guys. Um, probably about, oh I don't know, 13 years ago, back when videotapes were still the thing to do, I was at a blockbuster here in Long Beach, and I was going through the horror movies and looking for some zombie movies, and my girlfriend says... Hey, how about this one? And she holds up a VHS copy of Redneck Zombies. And I was like, hmm, well, I thought to myself, well, the girl on the cover has great big tits, so that's eh, worth a watch. No. No, I couldn't have been more wrong with that assumption. <laughs> and it started the fight of, from there on out in the relationship, anytime she said, oh, you'll like this, I would go, I like Redneck Zombies, right? And she would say, fuck you. It was just, it was there. I, yeah, really. At the time... I watched this movie and I wasn't prepared for how it was filmed because this wasn't filmed with film. This was actually taped with a camcorder, apparently. And if I'm to be honest with you, the production in that regard was very nice. The editing was really done well in this film, directed by Pericles Lunas, who actually did a lot of work for Troma uh, as part of a deal, I guess, for getting this film even distributed by Troma. Yes, yeah, this is a Troma film. I'm not a big Troma fan, to be completely honest, but I, I will watch their films because it's tits galore, usually. <laughs> and if Lloyd Kaufman does one thing right, it's put topless women on film. So I watch. You, you know what you get with trauma, and you really can't take it all that serious. But it's fucking have a couple of beers, sit around, and laugh at him. But this this was done outside of trauma and brought to trauma. The real easy breakdown of this story is military idiot who's getting high in a Jeep, trying to get a dog high in a Jeep, is transporting ultra secret nuclear materials in a fucking drum. Of course, exposed driving around because that's how these movies have to work. And he crashes the Jeep. The nuclear waste flies into a bunch of rednecks who use the shit for a still, who spill this nuclear waste into their booze, their moonshine, it gets on them. They're producing it for the local folks, so everybody who comes into contact with this liquid turns into a fucking zombie. Of course, we have a bunch of hikers and campers out in the middle of nowhere for no reason when all this shit takes place, and they all, for the most part, die with the exception of one. One performance I liked from this movie was Bob. The black guy who just loses his shit and just he's freaking out. I enjoyed his performance. He made me laugh the first time I saw it and I watched it tonight again. And yeah, Bob, I forget his name, his real name. I did look it up. Funny guy. And I, I did enjoy his performance. And, and he only did this film. He did nothing else. And he was watching him lose his shit constantly was um, what I took from this film. A couple of the special effects, considering it was done in 86 by a guy who had a supposed $10,000 budget. Actually, were some of them are pretty good. A lot of it was just cheesy shit. But production-wise, I thought it was a fine film considering how it was captured. Whatever. Uh, Storyline was just fucking stupid. Though not the dumbest I've seen. This, I mean, it's, it's the gimmick of the whole redneck thing. And this, apparently what I watched tonight was the DVD copy that came out, the director's cut, because Lord knows that... It was a bunch of shit we were missing that didn't make it in from the fucking camcorder first version. I don't know. This movie isn't any good. I'm not going to lie to you. It's been given four stars from, God, almost 2,000 users. Really? I'm blown away by that. This, to me, is a two-star film. Uh, it's out of 37. I'm kidding. It's out of 10. I don't know. Maybe people like the fact that it's just a trauma film that's kind of homespun. And I don't know. Maybe that's the case. I did not enjoy this film then. I didn't enjoy it now. But I've seen some worse lately that were homespun. So I guess for being a, a, a one these guys did themselves with a camcorder, I would call it a complete success. But congratulations, you just won the retard race. Don't know what to tell you. So <laughs> anyways, folks, that's all I've got this week. It's a short review. Uh, and this is an 84-minute film. I'm fucking blown away because the interesting parts took up four of those minutes. So there's 80 minutes of flurf going on in this. Unbelievable. Anyways, check out our show, be it the Little Dead Podcast, which you're listening to now, so I guess I don't have to prompt you to check it out. The Zombie Mob, you can Google all of these. The Electric Chair with Midnight Corey, Misfit Boy's new show coming out. What the fuck is that coming out? I want to hear it. Anyway, all right, guys, have yourselves a great week, a great holiday week. Be safe on Monday, and everybody's going to be barbecuing all weekend and drinking and having a good time. Please... Don't fuck around. Be careful out there. We'll, um, we'll talk to you soon. 